Sold out? Again? Man, everything good is gone. Why? Welcome back to the Red Ones Go Fest. Old Big Mick here, and in this episode, we're talking about Mega Knobs. That's right, Mega Knobs. For those of you that have been completely living under a rock, we have a brand new Orc Codex coming out right now for Warhammer 40k 10th Edition. And part of that codex is we've got six new detachments, and one of them is called Bully Boys. And Bully Boys is a new style of detachment for the orcs that's all about knobs and war bosses getting an extra wog. Now, that's new and it's cool, but also it means that there's a lot of orc kits that are going out of stock. Now, some of them you'll be able to get, you know, kind of infinitely, no problem. The original knob kit is, is definitely... Out in the wild, you can get a whole bunch of them all the time. There's tons of used knobs out there. All the stuff for Black Reach still works. Uh, but Mega Knobs specifically are both hard to find and expensive. Uh, and so if you're wanting to run some full-size squads of them, no matter what detachment you're doing, it, it, that's a lot of teeth. And this channel is all about saving teeth and doing your army the right way. Now, what do I mean about the right way? Well, obviously, it's 2024. 3D printers exist. You know, STL files exist. You can print out some really awesome Mega Knobs. But if you want to play uh, in an official tournament at a Games Workshop store, at an event like the Tacoma Open that Old Big Mac is going to later on this summer, you have to have an army that is completely Games Workshop product. Now, there's definitely some wiggle room. They have said that if you have anything that you have sculpted yourself, uh, that is allowed. If you have um, some parts and pieces, uh, usually they kind of stick to like heads and things like that in um, decorative bases. Um, that's okay, but the vast majority of the model has to be easily identifiable as Games Workshop product in order to be legally allowed to be used. So if you want or need more Mega Knobs and you don't have a lot of teeth or the ability to like find a whole bunch of them right now, what do you do? Now, this question was specifically posted uh, in our Discord server. If you haven't joined it yet, I would highly recommend it. It's completely free. We don't pay wallet behind Patreon or anything like that. We do have a Patreon that has some great benefits, but this isn't one of them. This one's for everybody. Anyways, links down in the description below. Totally come join our Patreon. Kit bashing is one of our like absolute mainstays, and not just for orcs. This this video and this uh, uh, Discord is for everybody. So if you're into doing some kit bashes, either to look cooler or to save money, or even both, uh, definitely something to check out. So let's take a look at our options. All right, what I've got here for you is a lineup of Mega Knobs. Now, I don't have some of the true OG Mega Knobs from back in uh, second edition in Gorka Morka days, but what I do have is a third edition metal Mega Knob. This is uh, an original Games Workshop one. I've had it in my army forever, uh, and you can see still totally stands the test of time. So old Mega Knobs definitely work. They're still the right size and stuff. In fact, his arm is from the newer plastic kit uh, because his metal original arm got lost long, long ago uh, and that got replaced no problem. So that is your original Mega Knob right there and here is the new All Plastic Boy. As you can see, they are substantially similar in size and in girth. If anything, the newer one is maybe a little blockier and a little chunkier kind of up at the shoulders and down at the waist. But realistically, you are just fine. So any old Mega Knobs will definitely do. So now that we've seen the size of Mega Knob that we need to work with, the question becomes, what can you substitute this with? Obviously, you're going to need something that's bulky, that's blocky, that's got extra armor on it, very mechanical, and looks like it will take a bunch of punishment. After all, these guys have the same armor save as a Terminator. And that is what the original Mega Knobs were. They were literally... Terminator armor with orc heads. Basically, these Terminator orcs were a conversion of the day and uh, led into Ard Boys and things like that because the actual Mega Knobs didn't appear in the Codex rules until 4th edition. Now, 
we, we've got the history sorted out. It makes you go, okay, well then let's look at a Terminator for an option. Now this is one of the new Leviathan Terminators. So this is an upscale Terminator compared to uh, the older ones. And you can see the size is actually pretty good here. Uh, what you're looking at, you know, standing on the back there uh, is pretty much right on. It's a little bit taller to the top of the armor there than the top of the armor on uh, our said orc friend here, but not by much. And in fact, the the girth, the stance is all really good. You've already got a power fist that is easy to claw up and turn into a claw. The uh, design here on the back of the legs very much matches the exoskeletal look of the orc. Obviously, you're going to need more exhaust pipes and things like that on the back, um, but indeed, absolutely can work. So my uh, suggestion for super cheap Mega Knobs is the new Terminators. These Monopose ones are very reasonable online and obviously come in the uh, Space Marine Combat Patrol and things like that. It also means the older Terminators, which are a little bit shorter than this, do still work. You can totally replace their arms with knob arms, uh, their heads with knob heads, uh, orcify them up a little bit, and they are super, super, super easy conversions. Now, one of the other options that has been talked about on our uh, Patreon, or not on our Patreon, excuse me, on our Discord server, uh, was using Tau suits. Now, Tau stealth suits were brought up. Unfortunately, they are tiny. As you see here, this is a shrimpy little guy compared to a Mega Knob. Now, you do have some height, mostly due to the uh, giant hoof shoe things and the size of this helmet, uh, but you can see... Uh, from dead on, or from behind, or from the side, it is way too small, way too skinny. That just isn't going to work. It's smaller than a regular boy, other than the ginormous head. So stealth suit's definitely not where it's at. However, the older crisis suits are not bad. Now, obviously, they're taller. What I would recommend doing is cutting out the ankle area here, in between the knee and the, uh, and the foot, uh, that'll help bring the height down and make it blockier and chunkier. Obviously, you would cut off the towel head thingy there. I'd kind of carve up the front and have the orc head, you know, poking out of the chest. Um, it would take some doing, but, you know, it is there. It is an option. I, I'm pretty sure the newer suits, this is the old third edition suit. I'm pretty sure the newer suits are a little bigger and a little nicer. Uh, but these old suits can be found super cheap secondhand. Uh, and if anything, it'll give you a bunch of mechanical bits uh, to use to make your conversions. Now, one problem that you are going to run into is the new War Boss and Mega Armor is substantially larger than a Mega Knob. And that's not just his tactical rock or just the fact that he is a War Boss versus a Knob. He is properly huge. So if the Mega Knob kit ever gets redone, you can be assured they are going to do a glow up uh, to a larger, more imposing size. Because, I mean, let's face it, these guys are getting kind of stunty. And for that, you can see that battle suit lines up a lot better. You can leave that height on there uh, and you can bulk it out and really make that work for your war boss in mega armor. Uh, same thing for, you know, a, a newer big mech in mega armor is going to be um, much larger. In fact, the new big mech, who is not even in mega armor, is larger than the big mech in mega armor because that is just this kit. All right, so what do you think? Does that help you out at all as far as sizing stuff out and really thinking about what you're going to do to convert some things and make some kit bashed mega knobs? Are Terminators the answer for you? Are you going to go Tau uh, Crisis Suit? Or do you have something else entirely? Uh, we've definitely seen in the Discord server um, people talking about the Ambot from uh, the uh, Blackstone Fortress kit slash Necromunda. Um, those are awesome. They're a lot larger. Uh, so again, that's like more like your war boss in Mega Armor. Um, there's obviously some Mechanicus robots. Uh, the new Space Dwarf Leagues of Otan have some uh, bigger suits as well. Basically, there's a lot out there, and if you get creative, you can really, uh, you know, make something cool and your own and make it very orky. If you like what you saw in this video, please uh, hit a like, subscribe, stick around. There are a ton of videos coming up. Everything about the new Orc Codex, we're going to be breaking down every single detachment, the best army uh, builds for the least amount of money, 
All of that good stuff is coming up on this channel and there is a huge backlog of content of all the fun videos we have made so far. So come on over, join the WOG, be part of the community. Love to have you here, love to have you over on Discord and especially a big thanks to all my patrons uh, who's without whose support this channel frankly wouldn't be happening right now. So uh, thanks to all of you. Have an amazing day and until next time, WOG ON! Thank <laughs> you.